In today's video, we're going to show you how to create users in Autodesk Vault. So over the years, you know, you could just have a, a user account um, and they've added a couple of additional uh, user accounts that you can use. Uh, and it actually makes it quite easy if you're an administrator of a network or a domain. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the tools, um, administration, and then go to your uh, global <coughs> settings. In the global settings on the um, on the security tab, you'll see there create and manage access for user groups, manage access, as well as roles and permissions. So once you've created the user and the user groups, you can go and manage the roles as well. Click on manage access, and in that you can see I've got my users over here already. Um, and on the next tab, I can actually put those users into groups so that if you've got, you know, sort of a lot of people and you've got to change sort of maybe 20 or 30 people at the same time, maybe the user permissions, just go to the, put them onto a group, change the group permissions, which will then filter down to the user permissions as well. So if I go click on new, you'll see there I'm able to create a new user profile. So display name, so if it says Aldred, uh, email alias, let's leave that. Aldred B. And then over here, you see what accounts I've got. So this is where the authentication account has been added. So you've got three different types. You've got your Windows authentication. Now with Windows authentication, what I can do is say select domain user. Um, and then it allows me to actually go and type in the domain, domain name and then go find it over here. So this is something wrong at the moment with my PC. So it's not going to come up. It's going to give an error message. But basically, if you've ever added a user to your Microsoft domain, you'll know that um, you'll, you'll know exactly which, which little box pops up over there. So then uh, the next one is just create a normal Vault account. Okay, so that Vault account is name, password, uh, pretty simple. So that's the, the sort of initial old way that we always used to do it. And then you've got your Autodesk ID. So your Autodesk ID would uh, say be your <clears throat> uh, sort of something like that. Okay, so be your email address that you get uh, for you to be able to log into your um, into your ID over there. Okay, so there we go. Just username is required. Okay, I don't want Windows authentication. Click on OK, and there we go. So I am now able to log in either via my Vault account or my Autodesk ID as well. Then I'll go to my roles and what roles do you want? Administrator, change order editor, and you know you can choose more than one over here. So you can have be an administrator plus maybe a custom object consumer. Uh, document editor level two, document manager level two, and maybe security administrator. Okay, and then you choose which faults you want. Okay, so I'll choose all of that. <clears throat> and then if you want to be a part of a group, you can add the group over here as well. Now, one thing you must note that whenever you add a user, if the user starts using uh, data inside the vault, um, they will not be able to. Um, you know, you won't be able to delete that user because obviously the data is there and you need to use that, you know, you need to go reference uh, legacy data or history data in the vault. Um, so if someone does, uh, you know, sort of leave the organization, all you need to do is just untick enable user. They try and log into your vault again. They won't be able to because they've been disabled. Okay. So there we go. So that's how you um, basically add another user to, um, to vault with the different account types. Thank you very much for watching.